Hi, and welcome to another My Digital Studio tutorial with Meg. I'm going to show you a new uh, style of photo collage today. In our last tutorial, we added these square uh, photo collage here using the photo boxes where they were lined up at the tops and the sides in a very sort of geometrical kind of way. For the second page of this layout, we're going to use page six here, and I'm going to make a um, collage layout that is a little bit different. So I'm going to start off by resizing this photo box. Uh, I want it to be a good focal point, but I don't want it to be quite as large as it is. Okay, so I'm going to <clears throat> delete the photo mat, and I'm going to make the mat attached to the um, photo. So I'm going to make this eight points here. I'm going to change the color. I'm going to make it very vanilla which if you move your cursor around slowly on the color blocks in the color wheel or color table here, it will let you see exactly what the names of those colors are in Stampin' Up! terms. So I'm going with very vanilla and I'm going to say OK. So there's our photo mat and then I'm going to give this a drop shadow. And remember on the drop shadows, you don't need to change anything, just hit OK. And now our photo has a drop shadow. Now, I'm going to go ahead under the Edit menu and copy this, and I'm going to paste it <clears throat> right on top here, and I'm going to scoot it up here to the corner. Now, this is a little bit too big. I want this to be sort of a side photo, so I'm going to change the um, size of this here. Now, when you use a corner um, drag handle here, it's going to let you um, change the photo box size or change the element size, but in the same ratio of sort of height to width. If you use a side handle or a top handle, then it will let you stretch just in that dimension. All right, I'm going to go here and say um, paste to get another of these photo boxes. And I'm going to make this one uh, smaller and stick it up here. But I don't really... Let's see, maybe I'll make it a little longer. I don't really want it to be in top of this photo, so I'm going to take this and say send this using the um, layers tool here. I'm going to change the object layer and send it to the back, which means all the way under everything on the page. And then move it out just a little bit. And we can adjust that when we have our photo in there. And I'm going to paste, whoops, well, paste in place works fine too. Paste one more photo on here, and let's make this one a of a long skinny photo and this one I'm going to say move <clears throat> um, let's see well, I guess I'll leave it on top there alright so I have our photos kind of arranged in sort of a collage -y kind of way <coughs> now some of these you can change um, by maybe taking the photo mat away like this one I might say um, you know what let's well I'll leave this set here I'm just gonna disable the mat on this one photo Okay, just to have something that's a little bit of a different um, different look to it. And then I'm going to take my photos here and start adding them in. And let's see, here's a, a tall, narrow photo that I'm fond of. We'll put this one here. And I need some kind of narrow, wide photo. So we'll stick this one over here. Okay, then I'm going to need a sort of a black photo, one that's going to go nicely in the center here. Maybe we'll do this one with the big dinosaur head. And then I'm going to need, let's see, what's our last photo shape? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter because we can make it any shape that makes us happy. We can just adjust it later. So that gives us, let's put this one here. All right, so that gives us a number of photos to work with, and we're going to have to go back and move things around in our collage a little bit. So I'm going to slide this one over. Okay, I'm going to um, leave that one. I kind of like the way it sits there. This one I'm going to slide up just a little bit. And the other thing that you can do, since this is just a random photo collage, if you decide, you know what, I want more of her fingers to show at the bottom, you can go ahead and do that and just resize to um, resize to be appropriate. Now, let's see. This one is a little bit awkward in the shape of it, so I'm going to slide this up a little bit more. And I might even just make this a little bit closer to square, cut a little bit of that blue line out. 
or even cut all of that blue line out, most of it there. Okay. All right. And I think I'm going to make this photo just a little bit bigger. Now, when you are making photos bigger, let's see. If I make this photo a lot bigger, <laughs> okay, I guess it has to be a lot bigger. Let's try that big. You can get this error message here that says expanding to the size may cause it to pixelate when printed. So a good place to click there is oh, is cancel. <laughs> because basically what the um, I just Studio is doing is looking at the resolution of your photo and whether the um, photo will be a good one for um, printing to that size because it looks at the um, number of pixels per inch and so forth and sort of makes a judgment about what's really going to work for you. Okay, and this photo here, I think I'm going to slide backward a layer uh, or maybe a couple layers. Let's just send it all the way to the back. And then you'll notice that our photo down here, our um, embellishment design kind of comes up above it. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to slide this one up. So we're just tweaking the, um, tweaking the photo size and so forth here. And this one I think I'm going to make a little bit smaller. Now when you're working with a photo box, you don't want to use the side handles because <laughs> that's what happens. We'll undo that. When you're working with a photo box, you want to make sure you change it using a quarter, a corner so that you can get um, the same ratio. You don't want to change that. All right. So this gives us our uh, photo collage with a little bit of uh, different interest. This one here, I might even decide to take the drop shadow off. Okay, we'll disable that. And that gives us a little bit more of a collage effect. So this one sort of as if it's printed on the page. This one's added without a mat, and then these two have the mat, and this one's behind some cool embellishments and, and so forth. So there's our layers. And when we go look at the effect with the matching page, we can come here and say yes, of course we want to save that. And we can look at our photo book with a photo cover because that's how the template is set up. And then I'm going to go right here to pages 4 and 5 and there is our set of collages together. So here's our geometric collage and here's our um, a little bit more free-flowing artistic collage. So this gives you a little bit of a choice as to how you want to work with your photos on your page, um, which style suits you, uh, and of course a little bit of mixing matching both is fine too. So I look forward to working with you on the next installment of the MyGL Studio tutorials.